Fall in love with my pumpkin cranberry scones, a delicious blend of warm spices, velvety pumpkin, and tart cranberries. Get ready to savor autumn in every bite. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about a baked good. We're making pumpkin and cranberry scones. Now, I tell you all the time, I am not a baker on many things, but a baker is not one of them. This recipe is so, so easy, even I can make it. And that means you can too. Now, what's the difference between a scone and a biscuit? Scones are more sweet, a little different texture, tiny bit drier, but delicious. Let's start with our dry ingredients. I have a nice bowl here, and in it I have two and a half cups, or about 300 grams, of all-purpose flour. Now you want to add some leavening to that, and that's going to make the biscuits rise. We're going to do that with baking powder. This is two teaspoons, right in. Now it's time to add some flavors. We're going to start with cinnamon. Nice ground cinnamon, two teaspoons. We're gonna need a little bit of salt. Salt will bring out the sweetness, believe it or not, and keep things rounded. This is just half a teaspoon. Ground ginger is next, that lovely warm autumn flavor. Right in, this is half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And then, big flavor, half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Now we're just going to give this a little stir to combine them, just like that. And now we're going to set this aside for the time being. Let's move on to our wet ingredients. I have a bigger bowl here, and in it I have 8 ounces or 113 grams of very soft butter. Now we're going to add some sweetness to that. We're going to add some brown sugar. This is half a cup. It weighs out to about 104 grams of brown sugar that's very firmly packed. Now we need to mix this together. I'm going to do it with my hand mixer. You can do it by hand, you can do it in a stand mixer. But we want this butter and sugar to combine until it's nice and creamy, and that's called creaming together. Just that fast, it comes together. Now we're gonna add some more flavors. I said these are pumpkin scones. So we're gonna add our pumpkin next. This is eight ounces, or 230 grams of canned pumpkin. This is pure pumpkin, this is not the pumpkin pie filling. So make sure you get the pumpkin, the pure pumpkin. The other has spices and, and milks and things in it because it's supposed to just go in a pie. This is what you want. Right in. Next up, we're gonna add a little bit of cream, and we're gonna get that from half and half. I have two ounces, 60 mils of half and half. And then some richness, one egg yolk, right in. And we're just gonna give this another beat again till it's combined. All right, this is combined. Now we want to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. You can pour them right in. You don't have to do it a little at a time. Just dump them in. And now I'm going to stir this by hand. It comes together really quickly. All right, this is mixed well. You can see how it's come together as a nice batter. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tartness, and that's where those dry cranberries come in. This is half a cup, or 70 grams thereabouts, of dry cranberries. And we just want to mix these through. All right, that looks pretty good you may see a little, little tiny patch of flour, and that's okay. 
This is almost ready for the oven. How are we going to get there? I have here an ungreased cookie sheet. And we're just going to drop in rounded spoonfuls of dough. This batter will make about 12. If you make them smaller, you'll get more. But the size I like makes about 12. I'm just going to use my little measuring cup here. You can use a spoon or an ice cream scoop, whatever you prefer. This will give me a consistent size dough. And we're just going to scrape it out just like that. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be a certain shape. They're called drop scones or drop biscuits. Okay, these are ready to go in the oven. Now my oven is heated to 375 Fahrenheit, which is 190 Celsius. We're gonna bake these for 20, maybe 25 minutes. What we're looking for is for the edges to be just lightly browned and the scones will be nice and set. So off to the oven. Okay, it's been 22 minutes actually today. I said 20 to 25 minutes in the oven and here we are. Now I baked them and I took them out and I'm letting them cool completely. You want to let them cool and not have them warm like you would a biscuit because otherwise they'll be a little crumbly. But how do you know when they're done? You can see there's some light browning on all the little crevices. But when you pick them up, you see the bottom is firm. They're not crumbly and soft and too gushy. They're just set up and that's what you're looking for. So let's give these a little taste. I want to try this guy. He has lots of cranberries in him, and I love cranberries. So let's see what we get. Look at that. Look at that color. What a nice crumb. Still a little moisture inside. Now, you can eat these with some apple butter, some jam, honey. You could do a little glaze. I like just plain butter on mine. I have some nice, soft, unsalted butter today. Let's just give this a little, little nibble. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> They're spicy from the cinnamon and the cloves and the ginger. But that pumpkin flavor is just wonderful. And then you get these pop of sweetness and tartness from the cranberry. It's all wrapped up in this fluffy, delicate scone, the crumb part of it, the cakey part of it. It's wonderful. Now, you might like yours with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I'm having mine with a little wine. I have a little rosé here from one of our favorite vineyards out on Long Island, Sanino's. So cheers to you. Give a little sip. If you like this episode and if you learned something, do us a favor. Sign up for our newsletter, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll never ever miss an episode of Let's Celebrate TV. Now, normally I would say I'm going to serve this to my family, but you know what? I'm not going to this time. I'm going to go and find a little room all to myself. I'm gonna eat all of these. Too bad for them. So while I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. Until next time, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>